So on the 25th of March was my birthday and I decided that this year's birthday, I am actually not going to celebrate it at home. I am not going to celebrate it in the United Kingdom. I want to go to another country, see another country and start building my passport at least. Let me add more countries to the one I've already traveled to and this was an opportunity for me to go to a country that I have never been to and I don't even need to get a visa to be to that country. And I decided to go to Albania for my birthday. I celebrated my birthday in Albania. So I spent my birthday and some days in Albania and I can't say enough how traveling to another country, getting the sunlight shine on my skin have improved how I feel, how it has improved my mental health. I can't say it enough. So if you are in the UK and you have just been there sitting, packing ships here and there, walking from this hour to the other hour and you have never bothered traveling, or going to somewhere else to get yourself together, please, please make sure you travel because you will not understand what traveling can do to you until you travel. So I think in another video, I'm going to explain some things I experienced in Albania and how much I spent traveling to Albania. So watch out for that video because truly you people did not explain some things to us very well <laughs> but overall traveling to albania was a great one i'm going to show you some countries you can travel to if you are in the uk and you have your brp or you are planning to come to the uk i need to prepare your mind about some places you can travel to without the stress of applying for visa. It is a great opportunity. It, it, there's this great feeling. There, there's this joy that comes with traveling and you don't have to stress yourself about visa. This is what I'm going to give you the names of those countries today. I have 20 of them on my list and I'm going to show you these countries and maybe tell you one or two countries, things you can enjoy there and all that. So guys, if you're new here, my name is Ogi. So kindly subscribe if you haven't liked this video, share to your family and friends because on this very channel, I share tips on how you can migrate to different countries. I share my lifestyle and I give you tips on how you can improve yourself and all that. So if this is what interests you, kindly subscribe, like, and always come back here for more. So without wasting much of your time, the first country you can travel to from the United Kingdom with your BRP alone, just your BRP and your passport is Albania. Albania is a great country. Albania is beautiful and um, if you're going to Albania, you would definitely want to see Tirana. Tirana is the capital of Albania. It's a beautiful city that has got so many things going on there. You can also check out Birat. It's um, a town of two halves. You can check out Birat. You can also check out Kasmil. And as well, check out Buturint. These are beautiful places in Albania where you can go and have fun. There are a lot of beautiful beaches in Albania that you wouldn't want to miss. There are beautiful places. It's just dependent on you on the time you have at hand and the places you would want to go to. So Albania is somewhere you wouldn't want to miss. The next on my list is Montenegro. Montenegro is another beautiful country. 
So you can travel to Montenegro with just your passport and your BROP. So if you are in the UK or planning to come to the UK to come and uh, live or work in the UK, then you can go to Montenegro without getting a visa. But one thing you need to know about most of these countries I'm going to mention today, most of them require you to have been to the UK before coming to their country. Let's say you just got your visa to travel to the UK and you have not been to the UK. Not to, you have not even stepped your foot in the UK. Most of them will not allow you to come to their country. You need to have visited the United Kingdom first before coming to their country. So for Montenegro, you can visit Dormito National Park, Budva, Lake Piva, and lots more. There are so many beautiful places in Montenegro that you can visit. So check out the internet, Google about beautiful places in Montenegro because they've, lot, they've got lots of beautiful places to see. You can check them out and visit those places when you get to Montenegro. The next on my list today is Georgia. Georgia is another beautiful country. And these are some of the places you can visit when you get to Georgia. Kakhiti, Vadiza, Gori, and uh, Chietura. There are so many other places as well you can visit when you get to Georgia. So the next on my list today is um, Gilberta. There's one particular place you need to visit if you want to say you travel to Gilberta, and that is the Rock of Gilberta. This is a beautiful place. It's somewhere that anyone that goes to Gilberta would want to visit. Another place you would want to visit is St. Michael's Cave. You can visit St. Michael's Cave, and there are so many other tourist sites that you can check out when you get to Gilberta. The next on my list is North Macedonia. North Macedonia is an amazing country and I'm glad it's one of the beautiful places you can visit if you are in the United Kingdom. There are so many places you can visit and there are so many lakes to check out in North Macedonia like Lake Ahid, Lake Matka and lots more. The next on my list today is Mexico. Mexico is another beautiful place you can visit. One of the places you can check out when you get to Mexico, if you visit Mexico, are Tulum, Zihuatanejo, Cozumel. Oh, I just hope I didn't murder those names. <laughs> so these are some of the beautiful places you can visit if you travel to Mexico. And there are so many other beautiful places to visit. Just make your research and you will have them handy. Okay? So the next on my list is Panama. Panama is another beautiful country. The next on my list is Bermuda. You can visit Bermuda from the UK without a visa. So Check out Bermuda if you want to travel to Bermuda. The next is Peru. The next is British Virgin Island. The next is Kalman Island. The next, Tox and Caicos. The next, Costa Rica. The next, Angela. This is another beautiful country. The next, Aruba. The next, um. Bonaire. Bonaire is um, in Dutch territory, so you can check out Bonaire. It's another amazing country you can travel to. The next, Kuraka. I just hope I pronounced the name right. So you can check out the spelling on the screen. It's a beautiful country as well. And another beautiful country is Dominica Republic. Dominica is another beautiful country you can travel to from the UK without getting a visa. There's something you need to also know about Dominica Republic. If you are going to Dominica Republic, you are going to pay 
um, a departure tax of 20 USD before departing if arriving by land or sea. The departure tax is included already if you are going by air. So whichever airline you'll be going with, they've already, they, they are going to add the 20 USD in whatever fee they are going to charge you. So people that are going to pay for it separately are people that are going to be landing by land or by sea. So the next one is St. Martin's. The last on my list today is Seba. Seba is another beautiful country. And there are also other countries you can go to from the United Kingdom that you can get there and get a visa on arrival. But that will be another video for another day. So guys, I hope you enjoyed this video and you're preparing yourself for traveling and visiting other countries from the United Kingdom. Please, if you have traveled to any of these countries, can you kindly leave a comment in the comment section and let us know how the country you went to was and things we can also know about that country. If you're planning to move to any of this country or you would like to visit any of this country, you can as well put it in the comment section. Thank you so much for watching this video and I hope you enjoyed it. So guys, make sure you subscribe if you haven't liked this video and share to your family and friends. I'll see you in my next one. Until then, bye.